Alrighty guys, we are getting ready for turn number three here. I'm just going to shuffle these cards up a little bit more. Just so we have a good shuffle going on here. And then we'll get things started for turn ah, number three. Knocked off one of the cubes. Ah, or one of the... Uh, the Dwight D. Eisenhower event <laughs> chit, sorry. All right, so we are about ready to start turn number three here. The Kennedy player has, or the three, Kennedy player has three momentum, the Nixon player none. We have an endorsement for Nixon with the media support cube. In the north, we have an endorsement for Kennedy with a media support cube for Nixon in the Midwest. Nothing in the South and nothing in the West for either player. All right, so that should be good, good shuffle there. Throw these cards in there, shuffle them in. And we'll go ahead and shuffle these cards in there. And we'll give it a nice cut. All right, and here we go. One, one. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, which is what you would do in a normal game, but because we're playing solitaire version, I'm going to give us seven, so that way each side is one card they can bypass uh, with my little solitaire system. All right, so let's draw the bag of death. You can hear quite a few cubes in there. We'll draw on the bag of death two cubes to see who gets the initiative. And two for Kennedy. So he wins initiative again. He's won initiative all three turns, which means he is going to go second. And that means Nixon is going to go first. Always probably better to go second. So that way you can always undo things. So this is a... Uh, 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 this is the Greater Houston Ministerial Association, which again is one of those events that has a special token. Um, this event prevents playing the Baptist ministers. The so the uh, Nixon player is not going to play that card. He will go to the next card. He's going to put that back. All right. So, Trial of Gary Powers. Um, so, the uh, defense moves up two spaces on the track. It is currently in second place, so move up to first place. And the leader defense gains momentum marker. Obviously, Nixon's not going to play the event, so he's going to play the three CPs. So, for his three CPs, he is going to play one, two, and three. Now, uh, Kennedy will play the event. He will spend a momentum token. And he's going to move defense up one on the track, or two on the track, but it only needs to go up one. And he will gain a momentum token. So... It's basically a free move there. Uh, and Nixon does get one rest cube. All right, so that is the Gary, uh, the trial of Gary Powers. We will now go to the Kennedy players card. All right, this is Ken Air. So he gets two rest tokens and he's going to play the event for the remainder of the turn the kennedy player is exempt from travel costs and adds plus one cp to all cards played as campaigning actions to a maximum of five so this will stay in play this is a great card to get at the beginning of the turn and uh, we will keep that out kind of right there i think just as a reminder so he'll play the event so he's going to get plus one on all campaigning actions 
on to turn number two. Stock market in decline. Economy moves up two spaces on the issue track, and the leaner economy adds two state support to New York. So that is actually Nick and Nixon. It's going to move up two, uh, two spaces, so it's going to go up to first. And since he is the leader, he's going to add two state support to New York. And that is where his candidate token is. And now Nixon is carrying New York. So look at that. So he's playing the event, obviously. And he will be done. I'm actually going to move this card probably somewhere else because I put the, put the card in. Um, I'll put it over here. How's that sound? All right. Now, Kennedy's turn. Henry Cabot Lodge. Wow. It's too bad Nixon doesn't have a. Uh, Momentum token. This would be obviously a very good card for him. So Kennedy gets no support. Kennedy Cabinet launch is uh, Nixon adds two state support to Massachusetts and two issue to support, support in defense. <coughs> if Nixon candidate's card is exhausted, then he can face it back up. So this is one of these special cards I was talking about in our introduction to the gaming system. There is a couple cards you can use. So he's going to play it for the 4 CP, but he gets a plus 1 because of Ken Air, so he's going to get 5 CP to use. Wow, that is really, really good. So he is going to put 1 in Ohio. Then he's going to go to Illinois and remove 2. And then he's going to go to Michigan and remove two. So that is, so he's hoping that those will revert back to him, especially since he's got the endorsement now in that section. So that's Henry Cabot Lodge. We go on to round number three, Nixon. Uh... All right, Profiles of Courage. He's going to get two rescues. And if you play the event, for the remainder of the turn, the Kennedy player may redraw any failed support checks. Each failed check may only be redrawn once. So obviously he's not going to play that. He's going to play it for the two CPs. And he's going to go to Pennsylvania and put both of them. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? He's going to put one in Connecticut and then one in Pennsylvania. That's what he's going to do. Now, does Kennedy want to play that? Mm, redrawing support checks. There's really north and the Midwest. Hmm. Is it worth a momentum token? Hmm. Hmm. This is turn number three. Um, yes, I think he will support checks. Is he going to make any support checks? Hmm. He'd like to get New York and Pennsylvania back. Uh, no, he's not going to spend a momentum on that. I don't think it's worth the momentum token. All right, now his card. Late returns from Cook County. It's an election day event. He gets two rest. On election day, the Kennedy player gains five support checks in Illinois. The Kennedy player gains five support checks in Illinois. 
which he currently would get, but is it worth that? Or is it better because of this? You know what? He is not going to play the event. He's going to play the CPs. He gets two plus one for Canaris three, and he's exempt from travel costs. So he's going to go out to California. He's going to spend one to remove a cube, and he's going to add two more to California for himself. So that was starting to round number four. Opposition research. The Kennedy player reveals all cards in their hand. The Nixon player may then spend three CP cards. Um, he can get four or he can see what he's got in his hand. But since we're playing solo, it's not really an advantage. So I'm just going to give him the four CPs. Because it's not really an advantage. Uh, so he's got four CPs. He's going to spend all four. He's going to go one, two, three, four. So because he took one away, the first one costs one. The second one you place on the same action costs two. And the third one costs two. So, um, so he can only do that. So that's what he's going to do. And now it is Kenny's turn. Player may discard any number of cards from their hand and draw the same number of replacements from the campaign deck. Yeah, again, since we're playing solitaire, not a great, uh, not a great event. So he's going to get two CPs plus one is three. Three, huh? He's going to spend two and more in California. Free travel because of Ken Air. He's going to remove this one in Texas. We're on to the fifth round here. Leader in civil rights. No one leads civil rights, so this is obviously a dead uh, event. The leader in civil rights must subtract five state support in the South and may not spend CP on campaigning actions in the South for the remainder of the term. So kind of a dead event because no one owns uh, civil rights right now so he's just going to get four CPs four CPs he's going to he's going to remove hmm Four CPs, huh? He is going to spend one in Pennsylvania. He's going to spend one to travel. He's going to place one in Michigan and one in Illinois. That was one, two to travel, three, four. And he gets no rest tokens. All right, Kennedy's last go here. Nixon's knee immediately moved the Nixon counter token to Maryland without paying the normal costs. For the remainder of the turn, the Nixon player must spend a momentum token in order to play a card as a campaigning action. Well, this is the last round this turn, so that's dead. So he's going to spend four CPs plus his one. He's going to have five CPs. And he's going to go one, two, three and four five and that's the advantage of going last all right let's get a little cheat 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 out of here so that is uh do 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 that is the action phase now we go to the momentum phase both players discard half of their momentum tokens rounded down half of three is one and a half rounded down is one so he will lose one uh, issue shift. Player with the most media support on the board can switch two adjacent tiles. And Nixon has got two. Kennedy has zero. So he's going to switch two. He's obviously going to switch those two. Knock Kennedy down. And then uh, ward issue support. So this goes away and he gets a momentum token. 
So Kennedy gets a momentum token. And then this goes away and he gets either a momentum or an endorsement. He's going to take an endorsement. And the endorsement is in the Midwest, which he currently already has one, but you can have as many on there as you get. So he will get another in the Midwest. So now Kennedy is really going to try and take any territory back that doesn't have any cubes on it. So Nixon wants to make sure he has cubes on all those. And then each player is going to take one of their two remaining cards and keep it for the debates. Mm, and Nixon will keep that one. Uh, right, yes, he's not going to play that one. And Kennedy will take this one for himself. All right, so that's momentum, can, uh, campaign strategy. We take the rest cubes, add them to the bag of death, shuffle it up, and we're gonna cut these cards a little bit. And there we go. Ah, come on, come on, get it. There you go. All right, and we are on to turn number four. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six is what, again, you would normally get. I'm doing my little solo variation, so each player gets seven. That way they can kind of bypass one card in their hand. And the reason for that is because sometimes you'll come across a card like in the fourth or fifth round towards the end of it that says, oh, at the beginning of the turn, add one to all your support checks for the rest of the turn. Well, you would have obviously played that one first, so it's kind of like a dead card. So that's why I give them an extra one. All right, uh, so now we got to draw and see who gets initiative for turn number four. And it is, oh, Nixon. Well, Nixon is going to make Kennedy go first this time. So Kennedy goes first. This card went away. We're good. All right. So Kennedy. All right. Joe Kennedy is now up. And Kennedy's going to play Joe Kennedy. The Nixon. Um, does he want to do that, actually, is the question. Because right now, Nixon doesn't have any momentum tokens. This would prevent him from playing any, but he doesn't have any. So, I'm going to just take the CPs. So, he's going to take three CPs for... i got to remember, Kennedy went first this time. Uh, let's see here. And he is... He's going to try and knuckle down the south here. He's going to go to Florida, drop off a cube. He's going to go to Tennessee, drop off a cube. And then he's going to go back to Texas and drop off a cube. And why is this cube here? I think we forgot to put it in the bag. That's a possibility. All right. All right, so that is turn number one. Now it's Nixon. Debate event. In the debates, the Kennedy player adds plus one to their campaign total for each issue. This event has no effect after the debate. So no rest. Obviously, he's not going to play the event, so he's just going to play the four CPs. And he is... He is going to... He's going to go to Wisconsin. One... Kentucky, two, Ohio, three, and then four. So the Midwest, he owns the Midwest right now. That's the advantage of going last. All right, second round, Kennedy. The Kennedy player may add, may add two state support in Texas and a total of three additional support anywhere in the South, no more than two per state. If Kennedy candidate card is currently flipped, 
the Kennedy player may reclaim it face up. So this would have been able to flip his card. So the question is, does he want to play this card? Hmm. Hmm. He's actually going to put this back on his deck. And he's going to play his own Kennedy card for five. So he's going to have five CP to spend. And again, what he's going to do is one, two, three, four, five. And he'll be done. And it goes to Nixon now. Nixon. Silver Rights moves up one in the track. Uh, the leader in Silver Rights adds a total of one, uh, total of three state support anywhere, no more than one per state. Obviously, he's not going to play the event. He's going to play it for the CPs, and he's going to spend all three CPs, just taking three CPs off of the track for Kennedy player. Uh, will Kennedy play that? Um, civil rights. No, he will not play that because there's no token on there now. Now, Kennedy will play this. And guess what? He's going to add to state support uh, in Texas. And then three more anywhere in the south. So he's going to take another one in Tennessee. Another one in Arkansas and one down in Florida. And then he may unexhaust his candidate card. And now Nixon, this is uh, number two, round two. The Kennedy player may remove two Nixon media support cues from the board. Wow. Well, obviously he's not going to play that. He's going to get the two rest and the two CPs. Wow, what's he going to do? This has been a weird game because uh, Kennedy owns California. And Nixon owns the North and the Midwest. Uh, does he want to just keep piling on there? I think he does. I think he does. He's going to uh, he's going to remove both cubes from Massachusetts, I think. Yeah, he's going to remove. He's going to spend his two to remove cubes in Massachusetts because he's got the endorsement, which means this instead of going to Kennedy would go to Nixon. So that's what he's going to do. Now, uh, is he going to spend a momentum token? He's got three momentum tokens. Uh, yes, he will do that. And that's going to remove the two media support cubes that were on the board. So now we are on to turn number three. Heartland of America. The Nixon player may add a total of seven state support in the West and Midwest, having 10 or fewer electoral votes, no more than one per state. Obviously, Kennedy's not going to play that. And Nixon doesn't have any momentum tokens, so he'll just play the three CPs. And he does get a rest token. And three CPs. And I think he's got to get out of the south and start getting something back here. So he's going to spend one to move back up to the north. And then two, three to remove those from Pennsylvania. If he did for New York, he'd have to do support checks. In this case, he doesn't want to do that yet. Now it's Nixon's turn. This is on election day. The Nixon player gains three support checks in any one state. Ooh. He will play this. And there is an election day event down here. But I'm just going to kind of slide it over. So during election day, he will get three support checks in any one state, which could be the difference of winning and losing. All right, so now we're on to round number four. Kennedy first. 
Leader in defense. Yeah, that's Kennedy. Uh, gains a momentum marker and may a total of three states support anywhere, no more than one per state. Uh, he will do that. He will gain a momentum token and add three states support anywhere he wants. No more than one per state. No more than one per state. Uh, he would not have to do a support check to take it out of New York, so he might as well do that. And New Jersey's worth 16, so he'll do that. Oh, he gets three. Uh, and let's get rid of the one on Illinois. All right. Yeah. And now it is Nixon. The Nixon player may subtract a total of five state support from Kennedy anywhere, no more than one per state. This event is prevented by the Greater Houston Ministerial Association event, which has already been played. So we cannot do that. So it's three CPs, and he gets a rest. And three CPs. Okay, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? So really endorsed here in the Midwest. So he's got to make sure he's got cubes on everything and plenty of them or he can start going back down the south and try or come back to California but he's in the, the Midwest right now so if he's going to go back to California now's his chance but he would have to take support checks to do that. Hmm. Hmm. Now, you know what I think he's going to do? He's going to go one, two, three. He's going to end up in Michigan. Hey, Russ, how you doing, buddy? All right, we are on to turn number five here. Kennedy player first. The Nixon player might not spend CPs on campaigning in any state being led by Kennedy for the remainder of the turn. This event is prevented by Dwight D. Eisenhower, so he can't play that. He's the only can play it for the four CPs. Four CPs. And he's going to go one, two, three. And add one for four in New York. And now for the last play, it is Nixon's turn. Player may spend seven CPs on a campaigning action Expending no more than one. Wow, that's huge. Seven CPs. Hmm. He really wanted to adjust this track, but seven CPs you can't. You can't go. You gotta. You gotta spend them on two, four, six, seven. Seven is just too many. Too many good, good opportunities. To take a lot of cubes off the board, but you can only do one per state. So he's going to take one out of California, one, one out of Texas, two, one out of New York, that's three. He's going to take one out of Arkansas, four. He's going to take one out of South Carolina, five. No, you know what? Let's go back. Hang on. So he's only done two so far. California and New York. And no, oh, sorry, Texas. So he's done three. Three. Let's see. It's campaigning action, so we can actually add, right? So he's going to go four, five. Six. Seven. He's going to try and steal North Carolina. Wouldn't that be nice, huh? All right. So that is that. So, nobody has media support cubes on the board, so nobody gets to adjust the track. Nobody wins this. Nobody wins this. And Kennedy player. Oh, wait. First, we got to round these down. So it's half of these rounded down. So half of three is one, 
round it down so we have that and then he's going to get a momentum token and another endorsement and this one is a major endorsement so he can choose anywhere he wants and he is going to choose the north which knocks his nixons out of there wow and then each player has to choose uh oh, we can't choose this one because this one would have had to been played and all right why does he, uh, all right so he's why does he only have one i'm not sure right okay all right um now what so still nixon without any momentum tokens he's been stuck without momentum tokens uh so we now see the bag with the rest there was hardly any rest a lot of big card values that time still plenty of cubes in there we go on to turn number five this will be the last one before the debates all right so we're going to just shuffle these remaining cards up all right one one two two three three four five five six six seven seven again you would not do this normally but we're playing our solitaire variation of this all right um now we draw on the bag to see who gets initiative to be the last one before the debates and we draw two cubes out oh so nixon wins so he's going to make Kenny go first again. All right, so Kenny will draw a card. All right, and uh, he's not going to play the event because it's a Nixon event. Southern strategy. The Nixon player may add a total of five state support to the South, no more than two per state. Kenny gains one easy support in civil rights, which he doesn't really want to worry about, but he will take the rest and three CPs. And he will place all three on those issues and be done. Nixon. He gets two rest. Another election day event. The player leading Connecticut gains five support checks in California. Yeah, he's going to try and get Cal Right now he is leading Connecticut. So he's going to play the event and try to... Yeah, I think he is. So he's going to play the event. Uh, so he doesn't get to actually do anything now, but the player who's winning Cal Connecticut gains five support checks in California. All right, so round number two. Big clue! After this week, I think we've had quite enough debates going on. <laughs> oh, he's got another. Oh, Ken or Nixon without any momentum. Puerto Rican, uh, Porta, Puerto Rican bishops. So obviously he's not going to play the event, but the Kennedy player may not expend momentum markers for the remainder of the turn. This event is prevented by the greater. Okay, so it was already played anyways. So we're going to be playing it for three CPs. He's going to get one rest and three CPs. And what's he going to do with them? Hmm. He's going to take one out of New York and one in New York. And he's going to take one out of Connecticut. That's his three CPs. Now for Nixon. The Kenny play player may add five state support in Delaware, Maryland, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, no more than two per state. Obviously, he's not going to play the event. So he'll play the, the three CPs. Three CPs. 
Uh, oh, I better leave this out because Kennedy player might play that actually. So, uh, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do when he come for you? So you wanna campaign? Hmm. Hmm. The South is really locked down pretty good. Um, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna try and lock down. He's gonna spend three, one in Illinois, one in Indiana, and one in Ohio. He's gonna try and lock down the before he leaves. The area now Kennedy will play a momentum five state support in Maryland New Jersey New York and Pennsylvania no more than two per state so one two one two so that's four and then Delaware Maryland or New Jersey he will they will go for New Jersey. He'll go for New Jersey. Sure. All right. Now, turn number three. Ah, come here, little cube. Knocked it off the board. Now I can't get it because it's underneath the board. Ah, got it. All right. Round number three. Kennedy first. Oops. A time of greatness. Kennedy player loses one support in each, which he doesn't have. The Kennedy player may add three state support anywhere, no more than one per state, or he takes the four CPs. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, he'll just take the four CPs, I think. The four CPs. And Nixon's not going to play that event, obviously. So the four CPs are going to be... One, two, three, and four. All right, and for Nixon, civil rights moves up one in this space, and Nixon adds one issue support to civil rights. Mm, or he's got two CPs, and oh, he does get two rest. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Mm, okay, he will do that. So that's going to at least take that out. Kennedy. And we are on to round four. Civil rights moves up one in the space. And player has three issue support in civil rights. Wow. Uh, so yes, he will definitely do that. So he's going to move it up three and add three support to civil rights. Wow. That is a big one. And no rest again. All right. Nixon, turn four. Hostile press corps. If it remains in the turn, the Nixon player must treat all states as they were being carried by Kennedy while performing campaigning actions. Well, there's only one more round. So I doubt he's going to play that. So I will play for the four CPs. And we're going to go one, two, three. And it doesn't. Uh, hang on a second. That was like this, right? So one, two. Um, yes, he will do that. He will go one, two, three, four. Place his own token there. All right, round number five. Uh-oh. 
Gathering momentum in the West. Whichever player is leading more states in the West adds a momentum marker. Uh, plus one state support in each West. Whichever player is leading more. So he obviously wouldn't play this because he's getting crushed out West. So he's going to put that on the bottom of his deck and play the next card. Tricky Dicky. Uh, this is a good one, but he doesn't have any momentum marker, so he's just going to take it as the four CPs. And Nixon doesn't have any momentum marker, so we can't do anything about it. So, four CPs are going to be... Hmm... He's going to go one, two, to remove that, three, four, to place his own. And now, the last play is going here. Nixon player loses. Obviously, he's not going to play this as the event. He's only going to have three CPs again, one rest. And the best he can do is one, two, three. Ugh. He's getting killed on these uh, issues. Uh, uh, he was He's going to lose a momentum token, so is he going to play the event? Actually, mm, actually, let me... I mean, does he want to, hmm, he might put this one away and try for another one. So that's what he's going to do. Oh, just as bad. So he gets two, and he only gets two campaigning actions, which means he can only remove these two. Ugh. And the event is Bobby Kennedy, which lets him add plus one to all cards for the remaining of the turn. There is no more for the remainder of the turn, so there's no sense of playing that. And that is round number five done. Now, dum bum 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 bum. Momentum decay. Kennedy loses this. Uh, issue shift. Nobody has media cubes. And then this goes away, and he's going to get a momentum token and another endorsement. He's been doing this all game long. And in the south, he's going to get one in the south. It said in the south. All right. Just so you guys want to make sure. So he will get one in the south. So he's got two in the Midwest, one in the south now. And then one cube goes away. All right, now we go to the debates. So oh, the debates. Let's see if we can do this without destroying our board. Oh, each player needs to choose a card. He cannot choose this one because it's a scoring card, so he has to choose that one. And then, oops, Nixon will choose this one for the debates and get rid of that one. All right. So what I want to do is randomly shuffle these up. One, two, three, four, five, which we should have. We are on six now. All right. And one, two, three, four, five. Yep, okay. Just gonna shuffle them up and I'm gonna randomly pull cards for each player. So what you do is uh, third place issue, second, and first. All right. Now, all right, so each player will draw a card. He will put it on economy, and he will also go for economy, and right now it's tied at three to three. Nobody has any debate event. All right, second card. 
He's going to go to civil rights over here. And he's going to go to economy. And he's going to, and Nixon is going to win economy with a total of seven versus three. Seven versus three. So this one will be closed now. Can I play another one of those? And this issue goes back to the track. And Nixon, for the first time in like forever, has a momentum token now. Holy cow. Uh, next card is Civil Rights and Economy, which he can't play. Next card goes with... Civil rights, and he goes with defense, which means three, six versus three. So this issue is now closed, and Nixon wins. And what is he going to do? He's going to take a, he's going to take an endorsement. I think he's time to get an endorsement in the East. So he gets yet all important endorsement in the East. Endorsement in the East. Two. And now, last card. I hope you guys kept a defense. He kept a closed issue and he kept a defense. So Kennedy's going to win that one. Oops. And he's going to get a momentum token and an endorsement. So he's going to get a momentum token. And he's up to three. And an endorsement in the major endorsement, his choice. He's got two there, he's got one there, he doesn't have any here, and he's Nixon's got one there. I think he's going to remove Nixon's. Hmm. Still a lot of open ones. You know what? He is going to go west. Go west, they say. He's going to go west. He's going to try and steal those western states since Nixon's not doing anything about it. All right. Now. Look at the difference in the bag and the cubes in the bag are going to be all red. All red. All right. So now we're on to normally seven cards, but we go up to nine cards now in our nine cards. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, six. Six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. All right. We still only have... Uh, right. We still only play five cards. You're going to have two to keep, right? You got to keep two, right? So that'll be right. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I was doing it right. All right. So let's see who gets the momentum. Or, or I'm sorry, initiative. Initiative is, ooh, it's a tie. Whichever cube comes out gets the initiative. Nixon, so he's going to make Kennedy go first. So Kennedy will go first. Mm. Um... He will play this for the four CPs because he knows Nixon's not going to play it. It's it's whoever owns more states in the South gets to put a support on anyone that doesn't have one. Plus, they get a momentum marker. He doesn't need any more momentum markers, and there's no states that don't have any support. That's not true. Virginia is one. So he's not really worried about getting that one. So he'd rather take the four CPs. So he will do that. He will take four CPs. All right, where is he? He's up there in the north, huh? All 
All right, he's going to go one, two, three, and then for his fourth one, he's just going to move. Is he going to move? Hmm. Yes, he will move to the Midwest. He will join in Ohio. Sure, why not? All right, let's see what Nixon has here. Debates. Oh, this is a debate event, which we already had the debate, so it's not going to matter. So he will get a rescue and three CPs. <sighs> And you know what he's going to do? He's actually going to draw in the bag for media support. So he draws out three cubes. Oh, he only gets one. But he's going to put that one in the north. Because he would have to draw support checks to take out ones. Lazy shave. <laughs> All right, uh, so that was turn one or round one. So we'll go to round two. The Nixon player gains a momentum token is the event. So Kennedy's not going to play that. He's actually going to get some support and two support checks and four support checks. He is going to take two from Michigan. No. Might as well start in Illinois. Two in Illinois. All right. Nixon Blair now. It's a rescue. The leader in civil rights, which there is... Yeah, so he is not going to do that. Hmm. Does he want to play this, or does he want this? Hmm. Yes. He's going to forgo this, put that on the bottom of his deck, and play the next card. Oh, much better. Nixon gains one issue of support in defense and may retrieve the Habit, Harry Cabot Lodge card from the discard pile. Ooh, that was a pretty good card if I remember. Henry Cabot Lodge. Let's see what that card does for him. Really? Where is this card? It wasn't that long ago. Why can I not find it? I, I must have missed it. Oh, there it is. Uh, Nixon and two state support in Massachusetts and two issues in defense. If the Nixon candidate is... Exa oh, he will definitely... He will definitely do that. So he is playing the event. So he gains an issue in defense... And retrieves the heavy cabinet launch card, which he did. And he gets a rest. I, I what was his other card? Yes, I already gave him his rest, I believe. So on to round number three. This'll be Mr. Kenny first. Mm, he would lose two momentum tokens and subtract one issue support from each issue. He's only lose one and one. Is that worth it or is it better to go with the four CP? I think he's going to go with the four CP because he knows he's not going to play it. So he will go with the four CPs. And he is going to go one, two, three, four... And just whack all those states free of Nixon's grasp. Obviously, Nixon's not going to play that event. Now, Nixon is going to flip his card because he knows what's coming up. He gets five CPs. He's going to go one, two, three, 
four, five. And oh, the issues have switched sides now. Now the candy player, we are on round four. Uh... Yeah, he's not going to play the event because there's only one more turn. So he'll get two wrist, two CPs, and these two CPs, he is going to remove them from Michigan. Get them out of Michigan. And yeah, he's not going to spend that to get minus two CPs for one more turn. It just doesn't make sense. Oh, look, it's Henry Cabot Lodge. He gains two support in uh, Massachusetts. So removes one, adds one. Then he gets two support in defense, which is going to knock him all the way up to four support. That's huge. If the Nixon Candy card is flipped, he can turn it face up, which he will do. And voila. All right, round number five. Ooh, the Midwest. Wow, that's a great time. That's a great time to play that. Uh, no, it's not. He doesn't have any, uh, he's not leading any states. So he will, he will. He'll play it for the four CPs though. He's going to take two out of Minnesota and two out of Indiana. He's hoping his endorsements will switch all of those over back to him. All right. So that's that. And now what can Nixon do? Mm, he will not play this card. That is for sure. He will play the next card. Player gains a momentum token uh, or two CPs, which is going to be more important. Well, since it's the end of the turn, if he gets a momentum token, the next thing that's going to happen is uh, decay. He's going to lose it right off the bat. So no sense in doing that. It's kind of stupid. He will get his two little tokens. And obviously, Kennedy's not going to do the same thing. So, uh, he's going to get his two. He's going to put them back. He's going to put them back. Or, he's got to travel to... Hmm. 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 He'd like to break up this little thing that's going on there. He's also got California down there, too. Good Lord. Damn. Hmm. He's going to go Michigan and Illinois. He's got to get these two big ones and then maybe go after the other ones. All right. So... Momentum. So you lose half your momentum tokens rounded down. So one rounded down is a half. Rounded down is zero. Three is one and a half. So he's going to lose one. Then third place gains a momentum token. So Nixon finally decides to get some tokens there. He's got two of them. Nothing there. Oh, actually, hang on a second. Rewind. Rewind. Whoever's got media support cubes can switch to. So he would obviously switch these two. And you'll get a momentum token or an endorsement. Uh, did he want the momentum or does he want an endorsement? I think he'd rather take an endorsement now instead of momentum. So he's going to get it one in the south, which is going to take, which is going to take, uh, that's the worst draw he could have gotten. Which is going to take his away, but he's going to mostly win that anyways. Ugh, that was a terrible draw. And then the last one. Here. And he gets a momentum token and an endorsement. 
And that's in the west, and that's going to remove uh, Kennedy's. So, whew. All right, then with your remaining cards, you got to pick two of them out for, wow, he got really good ones. Kennedy did. Let's see what Nixon got left over. Alrighty. Yeah, you will take these two. Put these over there face down. The rest of them just go away. Alright. So now we are on to basically the last turn we're going to play. One, one, two, two, three, three. And then we will be shuffling. All of these cards. Left. See quite a shuffle there, huh? That is a that is a lot of shuffling going on there. Come on. There we go. And I'm just gonna Put it off camera so I can put it against my chest as I do this. Alright, they're pretty shuffled. So let's see, we have one, two, three, and then one, two. One, two, three. So each, each player's got three. Okay. Alright. I thought I gave him another one, but maybe I just added that card. Three, four, five, six, seven. Alrighty. We're going to add our little cues to the bag. Each, time, each player got four that time. Alright, last turn. Initiative coming up. Tony's Born Life just lived, uh, just live streamed. Oh no! What do you mean you live streamed it? What? Liberty or death? Oh, you're killing me, man. Initiative. Oh, Nixon wins. So he's going to make Kenny go first. Here we go. He's going to come down the water here. Kenny first. If Nixon is leading in multiple issues, he's not. Okay, so he's going to play the cube and three CPs. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Boy, uh, Nixon is really in trouble here. He's got, Kenny's got New York, Pennsylvania. He's got all these states that don't have any cubes on them. And he's got California. And he's got the whole South. He's got three. So what he's going to do is he's going to go one, two, and three. All right, Nixon's first go. Move Kennedy taken to Florida and pay, without paying the cost, the movement cost. Player adds one momentum marker and one state support in Florida. Mm, or he gets two CPs. Hmm, and that would get him in the South for free. Hmm. It would remove that and get a momentum, momentum token. So he's now loaded up on the momentum token. So 
player may spend seven CP on campaigning actions and spending no more than one CP per state. Wow. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is probably going to be game set and match now. He's just going to be able to get so much support on the table. I don't think Nixon can come back from that. So one, two, to remove that. And then he's going to go three, four, five, Six, seven. Jeez. Nixon's turn. Midwest. Ah, you would not play that card. You would play it. He's going to bypass that card. And leader in defense gains a momentum token and one state support in Florida. Good Lord. Well, he would take Florida back if he played that and get a momentum token. But is it worth it? All right, let's see what happens. He's only got two CP, so... Uh... All right, so turn number three. Give me a week. The Nixon player loses two momentum markers. And must subtract one issue support in each issue. Yeah, he'll play that. So he loses two and one issue support. And he gets no rest again. Nixon. Opponent loses a momentum marker and three state support in the state currently occupied. Ooh, that's interesting. So we're going to make him lose that, and he's going to lose three state support. All right. Now, turn four. Uh, two rest, and he gets the Nixon player may draw two cards from the campaign deck again. Kind of a dead card. Playing solo because we're doing this differently. So we'll take the two CPs. Gonna put one in Michigan and one in Ohio. Why not? Nixon needs to get some good cards. Defense moves up one space on the track. Leader defense may add a total of three state support anywhere, no more than one per state. It's the same three CPs and he doesn't have to move. So he'll play the event. Might as well. And he'll play one in California. One in New York. And one in... Is he going to be able to come up there and steal that? Pennsylvania, maybe. He'll get rid of that. All right. Turn five. The Nixon player must subtract a total of three state support from Kennedy in Oklahoma, Mississippi, and Alabama. Mm, yeah, he's not going to play that card. He will bury this one and get go to the next one and see if the next one is... Uh, he gets two cubes. Player may add a total of three state support in states which currently contain no support for either player, no more than one per state. Okay, he'll do that. Um, three state support where there's no cubes. <laughs> okay. Uh, Florida. Virginia. Illinois. The last play for Nixon, and I don't think it's going to matter. Kenny gained three issues of support and defense. He's going to get a rest token. And he's going to get three CPs. <sighs> mm. 
green seam peas. Hmm. I don't know if it's going to matter. There's a, everything from here over is blue. And he's got California. Jeez. All right. He will go one, two, three. That's that. Momentum loses that. Uh, oh, wait. So they need to keep two cards. And he needs to keep two cards, but he can't keep this one. So he's going to have to draw another card. All right. So let's see, uh, election day. Deposit bonus cubes. Add cubes to the bag equal to your immediate support, which is one token on the board. <laughs> and put all media support cube. Add cubes to the bag equal to your media support. Then put all media support and issue support cubes into the political bag. So he gets an extra one in there. All right. Um... Both players may exchange remaining momentum markers, adding two cubes for each momentum. So he's got one, he's got one. So two cubes for each of those. Go into the bag. Tabletop Sports Delaware. Oh, you ordered the game. I, you were an enabler. I hope you're happy. I'm happy, man, if you ordered it. I hope you like it, though. And we add these cubes to the bag here. All right. Uh, Nick should have checked to see who goes first during campaign strategy. All right, so draw out two cubes, shake up the bag. Nixon's going to go first. <laughs> so he's got uh, New York, California, Massachusetts, and New York again. So for each one of these cards... He's going to get to draw three cubes on the bag. So we'll start with New York. Three cubes. Oh, he drew three blue. That was a dead. He gets New York again, though. He drew two blue and one red. So he only removes one red, or one blue out of there. Wow. That was terrible. Massachusetts, which he currently owns, he draws three out of the bag. He's going to add two more there. And then California, he needs to draw three for three to try and steal that state back. No! He only gets one. Hmm. We do have some, oh yeah, we do have some other special cards here down here in the bottom. Don't forget. So before that though, let's see, Pennsylvania for Kennedy. Oh, he drew two of his own cubes. Oof, that's brutal. Ohio. Oh, he drew two more. Jesus. There's a lot of blue cubes in here all of a sudden. Florida, which he already owns. Oh, he drew three reds, so nothing there. And then Maine. And, uh, no, Maine, M-E. Is that Maine? Or is that Massachusetts? No, it's Maine. Okay. Oh, he drew three. Well, that's not going to matter because he already owned that. All right, so that's that. All right, so then we have these two special cards. On election day, the player leading Connecticut gains five support checks in California. That is going to be... That's going to be uh, Kennedy. So he's going to draw five out of the bag. 
And he's going to add two more support there. Jeez, I think it's over, folks. And on election day, the Nixon player gains three support checks in any one state. So what is he going to try to steal? At the last minute, he can try to steal a state. Mm -hmm. He would have to draw three for three to steal California. Is he going to draw three for three? I don't think so. But he's going he's gonna to try. So here we go, in the bag, shaking it up. Three for three! Holy cow! He's taking that state back because no one has an endorsement down there. All right, so now you just add up the total. Oh, no, before you do that, you look to see if anyone has an endorsement. So endorsement over here. So Nixon is going to get anyone that doesn't have any cubes, and that's Delaware. That's worth three points. No big deal. In here, that is going to be Kennedy. And Kennedy is going to get both of those. That's 10 and 10. Uh, nothing there and nothing in the West. Then... You put the cubes on for whoever is going to own the state based on the color bar. So Nixon's going to get California, Oregon, Washington, Idaho, Montana. I think that's it. And then Kennedy is going to get New Mexico and Nevada. Does every state have a cube on it now? At least one cube. And I believe they all do. So at this point, we can just start grabbing the Nixon ones and counting them up. Because I don't think he's going to have enough. It's going to be easier to count him because he's got less... He's got less states. Uh, let's see, red, 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 and red. <clears throat> I think that's it. All right, I got to run, guys. See ya.